president standing against the rhinos of his own party, the radical Dems who are just, uh, as I said earlier, their hair's on fire uh, over the idea that we would pull a thousand troops from northern Syria. Uh, you, on the other hand, have been supportive of this president. You know, I think it's been disappointing that a lot of Republicans, you know, Liz Cheney, the entire Republican leadership voted to condemn their own president for moving 50 troops around. Now, the total was 1,000, but really, this is a fairly minor sort of military maneuver, but in the end may have saved many lives. I think back to sort of what Reagan did mm -hmm. uh, after the bombing in Beirut, that he thought second, uh, he thought again that it might not be the greatest idea to leave people unprotected in a small numbers in the middle of a war zone. And what I've said to these people, particularly Chuck Schumer and others, when I blocked him yesterday was, if you want to go to war and you want to be involved in the Syrian civil war, come to Congress as the Constitution dictates and let's have a vote. The reason they won't is they don't know who to declare war on. Turkey, mm -hmm. Assad, they really don't know what they, what we were even fighting for. But I'm not for sending our sons and daughters to a war where it's unclear exactly what the mission is. And you have been consistent in your judgments on foreign policy and when troops should be uh, uh, put, uh, put into harm's way. Uh, and I commend you for that. Uh, too many of our senators, frankly, and our congressmen have not been uh, in, in more than a few presidents. But what I find extraordinary is, as you say, a resolution in the House, a, a joint resolution opposing the withdrawal of our troops from northern Syria, uh, only 60 Republican congressmen stood with the president as he is facing an outrageous, illegitimate, absolutely fraudulent impeachment inquiry, a contrivance of the radical Dems, Schumer, Schiff, uh, uh, and Pelosi. Yeah, and I think what you see here is I think that this vote was a partisan vote. Chuck Schumer came over to me and tried to convince me to let them have this vote. I blocked him, but I said, look, this is just a partisan attack on the president. If this were President Obama or any other president, you'd be fine with it. But there's such a, trunch, uh, a Trump derangement syndrome that people have pretty much lost it and they just can't stand uh, the president. So they vote that way. But it's disappointing that we lost Republicans on this because it used to be that Republicans would see through this and see this simply as a Democrat partisan move. And really, in the end, I'm a supporter of the Kurds. I actually think this is going to be better for the Kurds because for the last seven or eight years, because of our wanting to remove Assad from office and saying we want a regime change there, we prevented the Kurds from talking to Assad. Assad is staying. For better or worse, you've got a despot in Assad, you've got a despot in Erdogan. They are staying. The best chance for the Kurds is to do what happened in Iraq, and that is to work with the local mm -hmm. government to see if they can get a semi-autonomous region. But Turkey's not going to pull back unless they feel certain yeah. that Assad's going to keep the Kurds on his side of the border. So I think it's a, a huge diplomatic breakthrough what Pompeo and Pence came for yesterday. I don't think it can be overstated how big a diplomatic breakthrough that was. Right. And I think the potential will be, can we now have Erdogan talk to Assad and get Turkey to completely retreat within its borders and reestablish an international border there? I think that this president taking the initiative uh, to uh, carry out a ceasefire uh, is putting the United States in the position, uh, a, 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 a tradition, frankly, for American uh, foreign policy. Uh, well, certainly previous to the uh, uh, to the uh, involvement and engagement in Iraq and Afghanistan, but this has always been a country that had a modest foreign policy when it was at its most successful, uh, and it looks to me as though this president is trying to return us to that. And certainly, it, it seems to me that. Uh, uh, that should be uh, cheered, not uh, not uh, uh, criticized. 